All right, hello everyone. Uh, I had an important announcement to make about the upcoming Golf Clash notebook application that uh, a lot of you need to be aware of and know exactly what's happening. Um, there's gonna be some changes coming that are coming in place. Uh, it's not gonna just affect Golf Clash notebook. It's going to affect pretty much any application um, that is a golf clash related. Well, sp more specifically, anything that involves an overlay. So for those of you who don't know, um, you know, especially I'm on the Android device right now. And if I was to click wind assist, you'll see that it pops open a nice convenient little widget that pulls out on the side to where you can input and also has that nice grid that comes up as well that helps you to aim uh, you know, a little bit more precisely. Um, we've been in talks with Playdemic and they plan to impose um, some policy changes on allowing these. So um, we are gonna have to remove them for the app. Uh, and similarly, anybody on Android or iOS that has these uh, similar type of capabilities are also gonna need to be, you know, compliant with Playdemic and uh, take them off their applications. So uh, the date of when this is um, basically suggested to happen, yeah, you know, tentatively at this point, is uh, April 8th. So I would assume that this is the date where all these changes need to be made. So if you're using applications that have these features, you know, on the Android side, this overlay type capability, um, it's going to need to be removed from the app um, in order to stay in the store. So with that being said, we're gonna have to pull these features from the Golf Clash Notebook app on both the Android and iOS side. So when we're talking about the iOS side, you need to be thinking about things like the uh, iPad uh, slide over feature. That's gonna have to be removed because basically what it does is it overlays and slides in and out over top of the Golf Clash Notebook screen or over the Golf Clash application, and Playdemic is putting in policies into place that are gonna disallow the developers to have this on their applications. Similarly, with the iPhone capability, um, we're gonna be talking about widgets. So you guys know what the widget does. You know, you swipe down, you swipe to the right, you can pull up this widget to basically draw over. Um, you know, it ends up disconnecting you from the game. And you know that disconnecting, it's disruptive to your opponents and it's not something that they want to see in place. So any feature, any application that has this widget feature is also going to have to be pulled from the uh, application as well in order to continue running in the store. <clears throat> so with that being said, you know, those are the changes coming into place. You'll see, you know, this whole, all this draw over capability on the Android side is going to have to go away. And in terms of from the, you know, just to recap on the iOS side, the widget uh, I, iPhone overlay, which allows you to, you know, slide out that, uh, you know, disconnecting um, piece to it. And also the iPad slide over feature where you can dock it on the side of your screen also needs to be removed. So both of those components are going to have to be pulled in order to you know, keep using these device uh, you know, applications. So let's talk a little bit more about the Golf Clash Notebook app here because um, you know, we, we've been kind of prepared for this. Uh, we didn't know that it was uh, you know, ever going to you know, definitely happen, but uh, now that it does, you know, I, we want you to know that we're still prepared for it and we have you know, other things in work that are going to be in place to help you guys uh, learn the game. And, you know, similarly, you know, when you go into the tournaments and go into the uh, course guides, and we have the most extensive library of course and whole guides out of any other resource, and all these backend op options are still going to be allowed. Same with the, the search, you know, the guided search, if you were to use the guided search, to find the videos you're looking for, you know, all this is still going to be fair game to use. On the back end app here, you'll see that the 
both the iOS version and the Android version. I'm on the Android version right now. It has this backend app. This is still going to be allowed to be used. So you guys can still use this free on your devices. Um, however, come that April 8th day, you will no longer be able to do the overlay. You'll be forced to use this. So if you guys don't have second devices, you may want to start considering the possibility of picking up, you know, an extra device. You can use your primary device to shoot and the secondary device, you'll be able to input, you know, the wind, the direction, everything. On the secondary device, get your bag set up, same as before. You know, no, no change is gonna really come out of uh, those backend apps. You're still going to be able to use these Ring apps. They're, you know, fully aware that these things exist and they have no problem with the usage of any type of Ring aid. It's just the whole unfair kind of overlay, something that one, of, one opponent may have and the other one may not. So that's the biggest thing that uh, Playdemic is concerned with. And as to why, you know, this backend app is going to be your primary way in the future, um, you know, no matter whether you're using Golf Clash Notebook or any other application, all of the features need to go for all those applications or else they're going to, you know, basically be, you know, th there'll be consequences probably legally. So, um, you know, we're fully committed to basically keep developing the tool. And we have, you know, a couple big projects that we've been working on the last two months that we've been putting together for you. There's, you know, quite a few things that we're working on on the back end right here where we're going to release some of the best tools that you've probably ever seen um, released, you know, by us or anybody else. Um, so we do fully plan to have these extra backend features for you guys to use that are going to be very, very useful. So, um, you know, do keep uh, up to date with everything that we're doing. Um, you know, continue to follow us if you are, because we're still going to be, you know, putting out some of the best content that we're capable of doing. So, you know, good luck with, uh, you know, everything with your golf clash, you know, feel free to comment on, you know, what you think of the changes or, uh, you know, your take on what this is going to do. Um, I'm not going to really get in too much of a heated debate about it. Uh, it's the way it is. Um, we're, we're okay with the changes. It's, it really, you know, we, we have other directions, other things that we can do. So we're not going to really dwell on it, but, uh, feel free to comment and let us know your thoughts. So thanks guys for watching and, uh, I will see you guys on upcoming tutorials and guides and, you know, always putting together, uh, videos for you guys to learn from and, uh, better serve the community. So, so good luck out there and take care.